Meanwhile, there are reports indicating that the DSS has filed fresh charges against Omoyele Shore. And now human rights lawyer Inibehe Efiong, one of Omoyele Shore's legal counsels, joins us live via phone to throw more light on this development. Thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you. Now, can you briefly keep us up to date on what transpired at the Federal High Court in Abuja today? We were in court this morning for report of compliance regarding the order of the court for Mr. Shore and Bakare to be released. While the proceedings was ongoing, we got uh, reliable intelligence information that there was a clear attempt to rearrest the two of them in court. So we drew the attention of the judge to what we have heard. The lawyer representing the government, Dr. Adam Liman, denied that there was such a plan. Just when the case was adjourned to the 11th, 12th, and 13th of February 2020 for trial, and just about uh, when Shawori and us and all everybody was about stepping out of the court, and while the judge was trying to attend to another key, the SSS officials just uh, swooped on Mr. Shawori in a gangster manner while the court was still sitting they had to force their way into the court some of them were already inside the court which is even very funny because they had no business being in court today since today was not for trial so the judge was forced to move into our chamber for safety, and uh, there was a resistance to the legal arrest. Of course, they reinforced and laid stage on the court. So Mr. Femi Falana, who is the lead counsel, now took a decision that we should leave the court premises. So when we were stepping out, of course, they did not allow us to leave. They forcefully took Mr. Shawoya and Mr. Bakare back into custody. So that is where we are now. Can you categorically stay, say to us what could have informed the order to rearrest Shawoya? Can you tell us what could have been? It is nothing else other than the fact that this regime is determined to conquer the Nigerian people. This has gone beyond Mr. Showare. This is not a question of saying whether they have a different charge against him as is being insinuated that, oh, they may have filed a fresh charge. Supposing that is correct because they have not served us with any fresh charge. So supposing that is correct. Because Mr. Showare is standing trial and is on bail on stringent conditions that include that he should not leave the FCT Abuja. The reasonable thing they should have done would have been to serve him with a copy of the charge in court, or even serve us and indicate the date that is to appear for his arraignment on the first charge. That is if they had any genuine or legitimate reason to believe that they have a fresh case against him. So what? let nobody be deceived that this is about a fresh charge. For us, that is just a veil to cover the impunity and the recklessness of the government. And it is actually worrisome that they have to effect this illegal arrest right before the court, inside the court premises, before the judge. Was this, was this before or after the proceedings? It was immediately the case of Shawere was concluded. The Shawere was still inside the court. So as he just stood up to step out, of course, I, I, the second case for the day had been called. So proceedings were still going on. 
But he was still inside the courtroom. The judge was still sitting when the attack started. Oh, now, in Ibehe, from the video clips available on social media, Shore claimed he was being maltreated in custody and allegedly some offers extended to him. Um, you want to talk about absolutely, this a little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. I can tell you that we have reason to believe they want to kill him. And this is not false alarm. What is happening should concern all of us. It is for the government to explain why they are so determined to silence him. The, the DSS has said there are fresh charges that have been filed against him. Can you shed light they on this? They are just saying nonsense. They are saying nonsense. They have detained him for about, over, about 145 days, and you are suddenly realizing you have a fresh start. After you have kept him illegally, after you have flattered a series of court orders for you to release him. So this is not about any fresh start. And I don't want the media to mischaracterize what is happening. This is not about any press charge. This is about keeping Shawore in communicado. I just explained to you that if they believe the government believes they have a press charge, the procedure in law is what I have told you. He's already standing trial. But with this, this with fresh charges, charges this fresh charges, this fresh charges, to appear on the on so and so day for his arraignment. In and if you have to arrest him. So the procedure under the Administration of Criminal Justice Act for effecting an arrest, you must disclose the reason for the arrest to the person to be arrested. You must even tell him that he's entitled to remain innocent. None of that was complied with. And you cannot be claiming you went to arrest somebody for a fresh charge and you do that by desecrating the Temple of Justice. So this yeah, is not you, about anybody, any fresh charge. Can you, can you hear me? People know they have no case, absolutely no case against your word. Can you hear me, Nibahe? Yes. Now, were, were these fair charges, were they stated? What were they? They haven't served us. That is what I'm saying. They have not served us. We have not seen any or received any fresh charge. We just got intelligent information that they were trying to file fresh charges. And even from what we are hearing, and at the time they took Shawari away, they were still in the process of filing the fresh charge. So what would be your next line of action now that he has been detained against the order of the court? What is your next of line course, of action? we have to go back to court to fight this cycle of impunity. What other option do we have? We cannot resort to armed struggles. We cannot take laws into the, our, our hands the way they have done. We still have to rely on the judicial process. Because really, what other alternative do we have? The government clearly has no regard for the law, but we still believe in the institution of the judiciary. And what we are saying is that this has gone beyond Showare. Every person in this country that cares about this country at this point should stand up and defend the rule of law. From the Chief Justice of Nigeria to the President of the Senate to the Speaker of the House of Reps, everybody in position of authority today should speak out and say that this nonsense has to stop.